Suspiciously so. <laughs> I've read enough Stephen King to know that any small town holds the dark secrets. I don't trust those deers for starters, they're too confident. I don't trust them. This is how nice Port Townsend is. So, I'm glad you asked. I was walking along on Friday, minding my own business, middle of the afternoon. Someone drove up alongside me and said, Hey, can I give you a lift? Now I'm British, so I'm very suspicious of people being nice. Like, we're polite, but we don't mean it. We're being sarcastic. And I was thinking, oh, well, no, you can't give me a lift to kidnap me and take me to the town hall and to the secret basement to sacrifice me to the elder god that keeps the town ticking over. No. I screamed as they drove off. 
The main reason I love America, particularly coming to perform here, like if I'm in England, I have some lovely shows in England, and it's great, but this is what happens if I'm in England, and I say, and everyone makes some noise. So I say, I'll make some noise, and this is how English people make some noise. They go, Whereas if I'm here, and I say, Steam bombs at Port Townsend, make some metal fluffy noise! Mr. Sir, that's lovely. I am powered up by applause. I need a cup of the brunt of the shame and eagle Be warm by the same source that I take my gigs from Using a teapot, a double fine china Been hooked up to ivies for constant supply Never drink with my urges, my birds are perverted For earthy brown tea, make certain it's worth it We share food to work birds and you with a fresh fountain I deserve bruise from the rule a bit sad, you can just do that and that. That's nice. If terrifying. Uh, hit me up for the next song if you'd be so kind, sir. So this tune is about my favourite pub in the whole of time and space. And is at the end of time. A place where all the time travellers come to get absolutely wanked. Introduce a super group of new music for you. Ramona and 
percussion and Morlock on a sousaphone Jules Verne on flute as a nuke looking right at home Hitchhikers have been guided here There's pirates and vikings to find his beer With tangy competition imbibing by the gallon And live on stage is the wild stallions Time bandits decide to throw food Head the end all over the line Whoa, dude. And I haven't eaten since late this afternoon I grab what I can and then dance like a moon hey. It's a party starter barber Get me a pangalactic gargle blaster and then it really gets trippy. I think they might have slipped me a Mickey. <laughs> it's the end of the end of time. Time for a pint, all welcome fine. All time travelers are friends of mine. Everybody in at the end of the line. The end of the end of time. Time for a pint, all welcome fine. All time travelers are friends of mine. Everybody in at the end of the line. a little bit disappointing. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, we know, we've been prepared for, like, zombies or radioactive squirrels or something. Not being slowly bored to death by Theresa May's Irish backstop or a series of unfathomable tweets about the moon being put on Mars or vice versa. It's exhausting. I didn't expect to be tired to death. That's not how I was supposed to go. At the moment, it feels like humanity is season five of a Netflix show that should have stopped around about series two. Yeah. Just get on my mind. So, just, just finish it. Oh, I'm exhausted. So here's what I thought we could do for tonight. I thought I'd have a bit of a loose theme running through the show. My plan is this. In these difficult times, it can be very confusing. And I thought I'd give us all a few tips. We could share a few tips about how to move forward, about what we could do. A little manifesto for joy. And here's my first idea, right? I thought that we can't, that one of the big problems is we lack, we lack trust in the people in charge. And we certainly lack trust in the people disrupting the people in charge. Basically, I've narrowed it down that the only people I really trust now are in this room. That's pretty much it. So my plan, the first plan, was that we should all have a go at being in charge. Just, well, just for a day, see how it fits, see how it works. Um, and we need to pick someone to be uh, in charge. Obviously not you, sir, but... <laughs> um, first of all, does anybody want to be in charge? Nina! Nina! That's good. That's good. Like, basically, that, that lady there, don't... Not her, because... People who want to be in charge, being in charge is how we got into this problem in the first place. So, could you choose me someone you think would make a lovely ruler for this evening? Have a look around. Someone who looks suitably regal. Yeah, I agree. I agree. What is your name? Rally. You picked Rally, Rally. That's, yeah, too, way too cool. Look at that. I'm totally going to follow you. Take your crown. However you briefly identify, you can have that, that's yours. <laughs> Rally, what did you do before you became a member of the royal family? Barista. <laughs> Software developer. Okay, that's good. Making things, making new cool things, hopefully, that's nice. Hopefully not. Ah, okay, well, I'll overlook the squirrel pack. <laughs> oh, that's fine then! You killed the scroll to make your bag. So, so we've established that you are creative and also deadly. That's great stuff. <laughs> okay, you're in charge for the, for the day. Tomorrow, you can have the whole day. What's the first thing that you're going to do? The first rule, mandatory rule for everybody. What are you going to put into place, Queen Rally? Everyone has their team. Great. It's a win win. It's a win win. Okay, here's what we're going to do to celebrate your coronation. 
question. Um, everyone's going to stay quiet, right? And when I say Green Rally's name, then you are going to go absolutely bananas, okay, to welcome her in as your ruler for this evening. Okay, shh. Ladies and gentlemen, please <laughs> welcome to the podium, not the Queen's Hand, the podium, it's a podium. <laughs> Dias. Dias, yeah. yeah. Dias, yeah. 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 The big old Dias. <laughs> Standing up on the Dias. She has campaigned long and hard over the last minute and a half <laughs> to become your ruler. She is forging the future through creative and exciting new computer programs with one hand, and with the other hand, she is cutting the heads of squirrels. <laughs> and making them into handbags. Yeah. That is multitasking as only a queen can. Wake up tomorrow and have your mandatory cup of tea, for this is the rule of Queen Raleigh! Frequently, people think about you. <laughs> Nobody cares. Yes. It's simple. Like tonight, I guarantee one of you will go home, at least one of you, but most of us, and you wake up at two in the morning going, Oh, God, why did I tell that story to that stranger about the Romanian plumber I had? 
that were supposed to be funny, but just made me sound like a racist. <laughs> that person you're worrying about, they've also woken up in their own bed going, oh God, why are there throws of passion just now? Did I call my partner Susan? No, my husband's name is Kevin. It's nothing to worry about. We're all a mess, we're all a complete shambles. And that's great, it means you're completely free to do what you like. And that's the good thing with steampunks, we already know that, most of us. It just means that you're like, no matter what happened, you, you, you're a chance. Like, you know those moments when you're watching a gig and you kind of, everyone's watching, but for a moment it's just, you um, and the person on stage, it feels like you're having like a conversation, just the two of you. And no matter what, what the performer says, you'd be like, yeah, I'm totally up for doing that. That sounds great. Particularly if it means that anybody else, don't do that. That's really the dynamic of how this is supposed to work. It makes me look like I'm a stalker. Right, I'll move on. That's like my kryptonite, I guess. Or will I? <laughs> right, Squirrel, I'm not mucking about anymore. The important thing you need to do now is have your moment in the spotlight, okay? So no pressure. If you don't want to do this, it's fine. It will ruin this part of the gig. But don't worry. I think it would be a wonderful thing to see for you, as a squirrel, to climb upon an imaginary pony, gallop around the room, and then watch as all of the other steampunks in the whole room, one by one, join on, thinking, oh, this is brilliant. And then before you know where you are, everybody's a pony, and you're in charge of the entire crowd, galloping around the whole place while I do one of the funny songs, and then everybody will think you're brilliant, it'll be the most memorable night ever, and you'll have a great story to tell. That sounds good! good. Yeah. Oh. What's your name, Pony Scrum? Oh. I didn't understand that, just how my vowel sounds. Oh, that's cool. That's really cool. Andy, if you would like to climb a pond and imagine a pony, that's just tradition. Uh, I need a little help. Oh, this whole thing came apart. Help her. Help her. Somebody broke. Sorry, oh, help her. For oh, God's sake. I mean, this doesn't seem like the time or place. I'll <laughs> trip. Just, just, that's cool, man. Just have whoever's behind you hang on to whatever that is and it will be fine. <laughs> so, I can dilly dally no longer before the momentum is lost. In fact, I feel it was lost about 20 minutes ago. Quickly, put the next song on. Oh, oh, dear. Yes. I mean, any 
anybody who does any kind of art, don't worry about whether you do it for a living, whether you do it in private, whether you do it in public. And then we get very caught up in the definition of success when we're making art that's only good if someone else likes it. And that's not true. The journey is more important than the destination. And this song is my advice to all artists. It's not really a professor song. Uh, it's an elemental song I did on an album called Odd Beast with another rapper called Dr. Syntax. And it's called Make Good Art. Yeah! Yeah.